Sabaha everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk to you guys about Remix OS. Remix OS is a custom version of Android that enables us to have desktop based experience, meaning the ability of running multiple windows, window over window, and the ability to use a mouse and keyboard with our device and get that kind of desktop experience on Android, which is normally what we use on our tablet or mobile devices. Um, specifically, the one that I have running in the background is a Remix Mini made by a company called Jide, the developer of, uh, of Remix OS as well. And you can buy that directly or, which is what I want to talk to you guys about today, is we can actually install Remix OS on x86 type hardware. So I'm going to show you the three different ways you can experience Remix OS, the Android based operating system, on your x86 hardware. This is TK. Let's check it out. <music> About a week or so ago, I did a video for you guys showing um, how to actually speed up your old laptop. This is the same laptop that I installed the SSD on. Uh, what we want to do today is I want to be able to run Remix OS off of it. This is going to be running directly off the hard drive. You do have the option of running Remix OS if you basically install it on a thumb drive, and I'll show you guys in a second. Uh, you could do pretty much the same thing on the uh, Azul P uh, PC stick here, because uh, the reason why the this is the Access Plus, by the way, uh, it's actually a full PC in a small form factor. So pretty much all very similar hardware to the way you have it here. Graphics card, sound card, um, you know, RJ45, uh, exter expandable memory using the SD card slot. Um, all of the things that you'd experience from a full-size PC in a PC stick and this plugs in behind your TV very seamlessly. Uh, you can run it again. It does have USB 3.0 port. If you have a USB 3.0 drive, you'll be able to run Remix OS off of it very, very simply without even having, having to worry about the internal storage at all. So let's go ahead and boot up this laptop. I want to show you guys real quick how I have it installed on this specific unit. Once we install Remix OS on the system, uh, this again has already been installed, you'll have a dual boot option. This is the Windows uh, Boot Manager. This computer by default had Wisno 7. I installed Remix OS on a separate partition, a FAT32 partition, and now I have the option of booting into one or the other. I'm going to take you in real quick to Windows 7 real quick just to show you uh, the setup as far as what you need to do to be able to boot up in and have this option afterwards. First thing we want to do is make a space for the Remix OS to be able to run. Um, now, there's two options here. You'll notice right there on the second one, this one. This is the removable thumb drive that I showed you at the beginning. All I did is format it in FAT32. It was an 8 gig uh, drive. That's the minimum requirement that they recommend. And then after that, Remix, the installer did all of this partition, the 1.5 uh, healthy primary partition, 5 gig storage, and the Remix OS at the 880 megabytes here. All of these things were done automatically, and I'll show you guys how. But if you wanted to install it on your system itself, so it means it boots up and gives you that boot up option, all you do is you go to your main drive, you right click on it and you say shrink volume and then you can shrink it by the size that you'd like. I shrunk it down to 16 gigabytes and then I did format it in FAT32. That's something you want to be aware of. Do not keep it in NTFS, just shrink and when it's done it'll show you uh, an available space, format it in, and just call it Remix OS for me for now and then you'll be able to basically use it. There's a couple of things you want to be aware of. The the ones on the one in front of us right now, it, this is how it looks like. This is the folder uh, setup that we have under the Remix OS side. So this is where it's going here. Uh, now, what you want to do in the beginning, there's two, two to three different ways to actually experience it. If you have a 64-bit system uh, or a 32-bit system, download the appropriate folder and then each one of them has the same containers except for the fact obviously it's the right format files. Uh, you can launch the installer and then it'll ask you for permission, you'll say yes. Once it's launched, you can need to locate the ISO and the ISO is usually in the same folder so you'll notice this is Remix OS 32-bit, this is what I was running and I'll say open. Once we have this identified, you have the option of doing two, one of two things. You can either install it on your hard drive or on your USB drive. So if I wanted to format that USB drive one more time and install it, I'll just say USB drive, change it from, uh, I think F is the only one since it's the only drive connected right now. And I can go ahead and proceed. It will give us a warning saying that it's gonna delete it and it'll basically format it. What I wanted to do or what I did for my system is I went to hard drive and I did switch it over to E, that new partition that I created. And once this process completes, it's going to ask me to reboot. And when the reboot process is done, you're pretty much set. Your uh, dual boot manager automatically recognizes the fact that you have two OSs installed and you can pick which operating system you want to load into. Um, if you don't get that option right away, I'll give you guys a link in the description to a boot manager that you can download and install. The minimum requirement that we have here on Remix essentially is Windows 7, no earlier than Windows 7, 32-bit for the full install on the hard drive as that's what we're installing right now. And then if you're going to go with the Remix player, 64-bit Windows 7 is the minimum requirement. If you have 32-bit, it won't work. That's one of the limitations that I have right now when I was trying to demo it on this PC. It's a 32-bit PC uh, version, so I don't have a way of running the 64-bit or even the Remix OS player. But the experience of all their, all these options are exactly the same. So we're back at the boot up menu. We're gonna go ahead and Remix OS.
Here we are at the main home screen. Uh, this is basically kind of like our Windows screen uh, directly within Remix OS. Um, all of our applications that we have installed are going to be in the app drawer. So it's kind of like a similar app drawer to the way you have it in Android. Um, it just sits on the docking side on the left side. Uh, you have the home and the back button right there permanently available, the download folder, as well as the Remix Central, uh, which gives us the ability of seeing the, their featured uh, applications. When you do install Remix OS for the first time, it does take some time, so please be patient. Uh, and also by default, the Android Play Store or the uh, Google Play Store is not turned on, but it does give you the option of turning it on. I did turn it on and I did have to update uh, the Google Play services for it to run correctly. Uh, you'll notice right there on the bottom right, we have the ability of turning on on-screen keyboard or we can switch it over. We have a battery level, so it reads basically with the battery level here. Let's go real quick into uh, the setup. We have the notification, uh, the location services, uh, the automation of the uh, toolbar here, the, act, the action bar. You can actually have it auto hide or not. Screenshots. Settings tab is very similar to the way you normally see it on Android, uh, which essentially is you'll get the Remix OS options, Experimental Lab, uh, Wi-Fi, Ethernet, Bluetooth, uh, of course more. It takes us into VPN and airplane mode. Uh, the ability to adjust display settings, sound apps, app configuration, uh, battery settings, uh, and then memory, of course. It is using the full two gigabytes of RAM that we have on the system. So it uses whatever the system has and it will run faster on faster hardware. So if you have faster hardware than what I have, you're definitely gonna get it uh, a much better, much better experience. Location, security, account, language, backup and reset. Uh, printing, you have super user. So this is rooted by default and I, I did test it out with a root application for the root checker actually specifically. Let's go ahead and do it one more time here, allow. And it is rooted uh, and it's Android version 6.0. So that's what I was actually gonna get to. Uh, you'll notice it's Android 6.0. It does recognize that this is a satellite through uh, L305 Toshiba. And it is again, just very, very nice. The security update is as September 6. I haven't seen an update since then, but it, it could also be because they're probably prepping the new version of Android N. Uh, I like the fact that we can run applications natively the way we normally run them. Uh, let me just go ahead and move it here. Uh, I'm running, you know, this is Twitter, Instagram, all those apps normally run on my mobile device. I have them, they're running on multiple windows. You notice I'm putting one above the other and I have the ability of interacting with all of them. I can minimize them. I can go to the next uh, to the next screen. And then uh, the main benefit, of course, is let's go to YouTube. If you have Chromecast installed, you have the casting capability, the ability of adjusting resolution. And again, I can go full screen with this. I can get out of full screen if I want to by pressing escape. And uh, it does have the control tab option, which means I'd be able to basically, uh, the alt tab, switching between applications, very similar to the way you do it on PC. Very, very nice. Again, very nice experience running on old hardware. It's kind of like revived my laptop. So that's one of the main benefits and why I like Remix OS. Jide has been doing a lot of good work on bringing Remix OS to the latest version of Android. Actually, their last Kickstarter campaign was showcasing their uh, Android N-based ROM, which will be basically what the new system that is gonna be running on most of the new devices. Now, you can still pick up the old system, the Remix Mini, if you'd like. Uh, again, the interface or the GUI in the front end, it doesn't really change much. It's really what's on the back end that it gets updated. I like the fact that it's simple, it's easy. Um, I, like I said, I showed you guys, I installed it on this PC stick and I'm able to run it on my TV. So it runs really, really nice. And it's functional for me, a little bit more functional than the Remix Mini because as the form factor, the, uh, the RJ45 connection, the antenna, it just fits easier behind the TV. There's no dangling wires as the you know HDMI connector is right there. And of course the wireless keyboard, all of those things will work on any of the hardware that you install Remix OS on. Now, if you want to experience it, just to kind of get a little quick flavor, again, the Remix Player is something that you want to experience and play with there. Um, if you really want to run it on your system, like I have it on the laptop right here, you can either partition a certain piece of the hard drive for it, or you can download it, install it on a thumb drive. When you boot up for the first time, log in in resident mode. Resident mode will format the system and create basically only a Remix OS partition on the drive, which means you won't do a boot anymore. And if you're running it as a guest mode off the USB thumb drive, then that's gonna be a good experience for you. You can experience it, run with it. Um, just make sure it's at least USB 3.0 or higher. As, as I tested it and I saw it with my experience, that USB 2.0 is a little bit slow for it to be even kind of enjoyable. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Have you have you heard of Remix OS? Do you use it? It is available for other Android devices like tablets and uh, devices that you can install it on just to get that experience. Mostly tablets because you do need the real estate for the, you know, the multiple window experience. Um, other than that, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you very much for the support. Like and subscribe as usual as I rely on your support. And I'll see you guys in the next video.